Hello and welcome to Cricket Happenings, uh, dear friends and subscribers. On this part of the cricket show, uh, what I have for you today is the first in the second day's play in the test match between <coughs> England and India, where after India, Indian bowlers put up a great show yesterday. Today, once again, the problem has happened to be that India has not been able to dispose of dispose of the lower order very quickly. And Butler in the company, uh, I wouldn't call them tail-enders, Adil Rashid and Stuart Broad. <coughs> in fact, Stuart Broad uh, was the crucial one as he, they put on a 98-run partnership. And England, um, once again, all the good work that was done by the Indian bowlers was frittered away as England uh, were bowled out for 332. <coughs> Josh Butler keeping the fight going. And as far as India were concerned, well, India were reduced to 174 for six at the end of day two um, at um, at the Oval uh, in the in the final Test match on the second day. So I'll be talking about that. Um, and other than that, uh, well, that, this will be the one which will be uh, of the majority focus. Uh, other than that, uh, we have the second unofficial Test match. Uh, which has begun between Australia and India and Australia A have done a good job with Mitchell Marsh leading the way as Australia closed the day at 290 for 6 on the first day of the second unofficial test match against India A. Uh, we also have a look at the 28th match of the Caribbean Premier League where Barbados Tridents once again were humbled and this time by Trinbago Knight Riders and Barbados Tridents are really struggling, one could say, uh, the TNT Riders won by nine runs. And then we have a look at some brief cricket news. <laughs> but now, uh, finally, firstly, we are heading uh, towards the Oval, where I'm going to talk about the second day's play that happened with Butler and Rashid um, uh, actually resuming uh, their innings. And um, uh, Butler and Rashid actually resuming their innings. Uh, and uh, just give me a moment here. <coughs> and uh, Rashid was the first wicket to go today, uh, early in the morning, when Jaspreet Bumrah uh, picked him up, LBW. Uh, and um, as far as the bowling was concerned, the bowling was very good in the morning, uh, with uh, Bumrah and Ishant uh, uh, actually operating uh, from either end <coughs> uh, in the early morning. But uh, after the wicket of uh, Adil Rashid, uh, it was, um, <coughs> I'm sorry about my throat, uh, dear friends, because as I said, cricket is something which I dearly, dearly love. Uh, so, you know, I really, really go the, uh, go the extent uh, to actually give this cricket show, uh, despite uh, me having a very sore throat here. Um, so, as I'm talking about the England innings, um, after the wicket of uh, Adil Rashid, there was no joy for India <coughs> as uh, the, it was a partnership uh, which went on between <coughs> Stuart Broad uh, and um, uh, Stuart Broad and uh, Josh Butler. Uh, so so that, that went on and added 98 runs to frustrate the Indians as uh, suddenly we saw that the Indian bowlers were not looking good and runs were starting to come by uh, pretty easily. And uh, Josh Butler and uh, Stuart Broad uh, put on a 98 runs partnership uh, for the ninth wicket to really frustrate the Indians. In fact, it was a, um, it was a partnership where uh, Broad and uh, Butler uh, were very conscious about uh, what they were doing. And as this was going on, then finally, it took Jadeja to actually break that partnership when <coughs> Rahul uh, took a uh, took a sort of a brilliant catch. I mean, he had to run uh, back, run backwards, and as you know, uh, running backwards and taking a catch is something <coughs> which has to be given a lot of credit to the field. It's not an easy thing. Uh, he was trying to Broad was trying to hit Jadeja over the mid on region, and um, and Rahul was uh, keeping an eye on the ball. Uh, but um, just looking uh, with his eye over his shoulder, and then when that when when it came to the final fling, uh, he did um, give it a good dive, uh, and he dived full length to take the catch. 
and uh, this was very well done. So finally, Broad was gone, caught round ball Jadeja for 38 with three boundaries as James Anderson walked in with a score on 312. And then Butler decided once Anderson came, Butler who was uh, who definitely was playing the stroke, but also he was a bit circumspect as well at times. But now, uh, once Anderson came, his patience ran away. He, he decided to weave the long handle and uh, what a shot. I mean, he hit two shots. One was a hook shot of the bowling of Bumbra uh, into the crowd for a six and uh, the other one uh, disappeared uh, over the mid on region uh, for a six uh, from Butler's bat. <coughs> and in the one over he had two sixes, but then in the next over, uh, and, and, but uh, later on, Jadeja was the man who picked up his fourth wicket uh, when he had him caught by Rahane uh, for 89, trying to drive him. 89, six fours and two sixes. Uh, and Anderson remained not out or not. And finally, the England innings wound up at 332 to the utter relief of the Indians. The bowling, well, it was only about Jadeja. Uh, 30 over, 79 runs and four wickets. He was the one who was among the other than that. Bumrah picked up uh, three wickets for 83. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm not going to into any of the details there. Uh, as far as uh, India were concerned now with uh, uh, 332, the Indian batting started with KL Rahul and Daman walking into open and Broad gave them an immediate breakthrough uh, when he breached the defences of Daman. Uh, now this was, um, uh, um, the, the ball was a sort of a seamed back uh, and hit Daman plumb in front of the wicket uh, and uh, that was it. Uh, there was no review done um, after talking with Rahul and Shikhar Dhawan had to walk off. LBW ball brought for three as Broad drew first blood uh, for England. Uh, KL Rahul was joined in by Chateshwar Pujara and KL Rahul decided that he's not the one to really uh, sit there and potter around but instead he's going to uh, see uh, start playing his strokes and that's what he precisely did. He hit some very good boundaries as uh, that was going on and uh, things were going on uh, well. The score had uh, from 6 for 1, uh, they recovered to uh, 70 for 1 <coughs> due to Rahul's aggression and also Chateshwar Pujara uh, trying to rein himself in as he normally does. Uh, but then uh, what a delivery. Sam Curran was uh, brought in uh, as a change and uh, Sam Curran delivered the goods for England as he produced a wonderful delivery which squared up Rahul all ends up uh, and at the last moment uh, the ball just moved a shade and went on to kiss the off bail and Rahul was walking back to the pavilion <laughs> really dejected as uh, he probably thought the ball would be coming in but at the last minute it just just saved away a bit uh, to beat the uh, beat the bat of uh, Kail Rahul and uh, um, Rahul was out. So KL Rahul gone bold current for 37 with four boundaries. Uh, the score read 70 for two at that stage with Rahul gone. Uh, and then it was Virat Kohli walking in to join Chateshwar Pujara. Uh, Chateshwar Pujara was there with Virat Kohli till such time they reached the 100 mark. And once the score reached 101, Anderson uh, made a double strike uh, as uh, he picked up first the wicket of <coughs> Chateshwar Pujara. Uh, now this was uh, very well done. I mean, uh, he tested Pujara. He had been uh, bowling some probing out swingers to Pujara and this particular delivery was an in-swinger and forced Pujara to actually have a push at it and the ball took the edge of the bat and Jonathan Baristow um, nicely received it and that was the end of um, Pujara. So Pujara gone, caught Barristow, bowled Anderson for 37 with five boundaries, the score at 101 for three. And now Virat Kohli was joined in Ajinkya Rahane. And as I said, it was a double strike by Anderson. Um, uh, Anderson in the next over, <coughs> after, after the, taking the wicket of Pujara in this particular over, uh, after he came once again for his next over, uh, he once again struck uh, by uh, dismissing the Indian vice captain Ajinkya Rahane for a duck. Now, this was uh, very well done by Anderson, one thought. He actually uh, bowled this delivery wide of the crease. Uh, and uh, so he, he, made, he actually uh, forced Rahane to play 
uh, the angle uh, and at the last moment there was some late outswing and that was the end of Rahane as uh, the healthy edge had carried to first slip where Alistair Cook uh, held it uh, uh, very easily. And so Rahane was gone and suddenly uh, the score was looking a very shaky at 103 for 4 with only Kohli there playing confidently uh, and uh, doing his job very well. And then walked out Hanuma Vihari, the 24-year-old young test debutant, walked out and, uh, well, uh, one saw that Vihari was uh, quite confident at the crease. Uh, he saw that uh, he, has, uh, he has good match temperament and uh, he was uh, really uh, beautifully getting behind the line of the ball. He was leaving the balls very well. Uh, he had a good judgment of where his off stump was and Vihari was doing a good job. Uh, giving wonderful company to Virat Kohli, who at the other end uh, was doing a good job as well. But then, just before um, uh, close of play, I reckon, um, uh, they lost the wicket. And this was the big wicket that England wanted. Uh, just, I would say, probably 30 to 40 minutes before close of play, uh, Kohli's wicket was taken. But, and also, let me tell you that um, James Anderson definitely uh, tested Kohli, uh, but the edges were not coming through. And Stokes was the one who picked up the wicket of Kohli. When Kohli played a flashing drive uh, at a delivery uh, and uh, he was trying to drive it on the up, uh, but the ball held its line uh, and it was uh, Kohli getting an edge on to the ball uh, and uh, Kohli knew that he had made a mistake, uh, but Joe Root uh, in the slips has already gobbled up the chance and that was the end of Virat Kohli. Caught Root bowled Stokes. 49 with six boundaries. Uh, so that is the end of Virat Kohli. Now, now the score read 154 for five as uh, Pant walked in to join Hanuma Vihari, who was looking confident at the crease. But uh, Rishabh Pant uh, did not last long. Stokes actually uh, got uh, Rishabh Pant very quickly. Um, uh, he, he got uh, uh, he got a ball uh, that moved away. Uh, and um, and that was the end of Pant as Pant got an edge onto it. I uh, tried to steer the delivery, uh, but he steered it tried straight to the slip fielder Cook, and that was the end of Rishabh Pant. Caught Cook bowled Stokes for five with one boundary, and now the score at 160 for six. And finally, when stumps were drawn for the day, the Test debutant Vihari uh, was um, doing a good job there uh, in his first Test match. He was not out on 25 with three fours and one six as well. And Jadeja uh, was not out on eight, uh, which was, uh, both were boundaries. So India would probably hope uh, that uh, Vihari could uh, continue in the same vein and Jadeja could give him good company. Uh, and uh, that would, at least this is the best pair that India has after that, they are the tail enders. And India, in, India does not boast of a, and uh, let me tell you, there are 158 runs separating India still. So definitely this particular pair of Vihari and Jadeja have to do it uh, for, in, in, uh, for India and they are the only ones who can uh, afford to actually see to it that uh, the, the lead is not uh, much for England. So it all depends on this particular pair. Other than that, the wicket taking, wicket takers, Anderson 2 for 20, 1 for 25, Brown 2 for 44, Stokes 1 for 46, Sam Curran. Uh, so that's the match situation. So India are 174 for six. They are trailing by. They need another 158 runs uh, to actually go past the England uh, total. And uh, looking at the current scenario on the second day, it doesn't look like India because it's uh, a debutant at the wicket and Jadeja uh, was not played a lot of cricket. Is there at the crease? And uh, says that's a crucial pair. If they could do it, that would be great. But uh, one has a feeling that England would be the ones who will be taking the lead tomorrow. Well, from here now, uh, let's have a sneak peek uh, at some other things. And we are talking about the first day of the second unofficial test match that happened between India A and Australia A. Australia A ran up a score of 294, 90 for 6 on the first day. Uh, the feature being the captain Mitchell Marsh uh, uh, playing a good hand. And he was still there unbeaten on 86. Uh, with 13 uh, delectably timed boundaries. Uh, other than that, uh, Matt Rinsha uh, was uh, bowled by Gurbani for not. Uh, Kurt Patterson 
Um, I've got Patterson when I've seen that he, he likes to play his strokes and once again we saw him uh, reel off 48 runs with 8 boundaries uh, before being bowled by the uh, left arm spinner Shabazz Nadim. Uh, Travis said uh, contributed 68 with 10 boundaries before being stumped by the wicketkeeper Bharat of the bowling of Kuldi Piado. Hanscom was clean bowled by Nadim for 8 uh, with 1 boundary um, and Labushani uh, was dismissed for not by Kuldi Piado. Ashton Agar made 23 before being bowled by Gautam uh, and at stumps were drawn for the day. Mitchell Marsh was not out on 86 and, and McElness on the other all-rounder was not out on 44 with 6 boundaries and I thought Australia would be happy with this effort of 2-9 for 6. The bowling as far as the Indians were concerned, Gurbani 1 for 50, 1 for 60 Gautam and 2 wickets apiece to the spinners Kuldi Piado and Shabazz Nadim. Um, so that is as far as the first day of the uh, second unofficial uh, test match was concerned. Now we look at the Caribbean Premier League match that happened, the 28th match of the Caribbean Premier League, uh, which was played between the Trinbago Knight Riders and the Barbados Tridents. And Barbados Tridents uh, of late one has seen that they are really, really struggling. Uh, in fact, they lost the match as Trinbago Knight Riders won the match by nine runs. Trinbago Knight Riders um, totaled up 180 for five, batting first. Let's have a look at the card there. Uh, they had some contributions, uh, which was uh, uh, Ram uh, Dinesh Ramadin was the principal contributor uh, with 51 of 31 deliveries, 5 4s, and 2 6s. Uh, Munro made 28 of 29, 1 4. He is the one who has uh, broken the record of Shadwick Walton uh, as far as the highest number of um, the aggregate runs is concerned in a, in a Caribbean Premier League. Uh, as I think it's 450 odd runs and I think Munro has 468 right now. So Munro would be uh, probably uh, one of the real contenders for the um, uh, man of the Caribbean Premier League series. Uh, he, so he was on for 28 of 29, 1, 4, 1, 6. Lynn made 29 of 10, uh, Lynn smashed 29 of just 10 deliveries which included 4, 4s and 2, 6s. Uh, Ramadin was the highest scorer. Bravo not out on 20 of 24 balls. Mecklen was cheaply dismissed for four. Dwayne uh, Bravo, uh, Darren Bravo, I think uh, he made 33 of 23 fours and two sixes. Nadim not out two, and the score was 180 for five uh, as far as the uh, Trinbago Knight Riders was concerned. <laughs> the bowling, uh, not really having a lot of time to see it. Uh, Irfan had one for 28, Chase none for 29, Holder two for 42. Um, other than that, looking at the Barbados Trident's innings, uh, it was uh, very sorry to say, I mean, they lost the match by just nine runs. They kept the fight going. Uh, Sohal made 22 of 21, four, two sixes. Webster, 16 of 16 balls, two fours. Uh, Shai Hope made 26 of 22, three fours. Nicholas Puran was the highest scorer with 44 of 32 balls, two fours and four sixes being run out by Bravo. Jason Holder, but I thought the Ali Khan uh, the, uh, the United States bowler who has been doing, he did a good job in the T20 Canada tournament and he's someone who's a complete bowler and uh, he bowled excellently I thought at the death. At the final over, uh, with, um, he really kept the runs to a minimum and he also picked up the wickets as well of Jason Holder and then kept Chase and Springer quiet uh, to restrict them to 171 for five. Ali Khan is definitely growing in stature as a baller. He came to the Canada, uh, the, the T20 Canada tournament, did a wonderful job there. Now he's into the Caribbean Premier League, also doing a wonderful job. In fact, he has taken, uh, he's one of the leading wicket takers uh, in the Caribbean Premier League uh, at present. Chase was not out on 14 of 7, 2 fours, and Springer was not out on 12 of 8 balls, 1 6. Game over, Barbados Tridents losing the match by just 9 runs. Ali Khan won for 39. Farmer Ademond was the one who started it all uh, by doing immense damage at the beginning and he picked up the top three wickets. Four was no made in 3 for 28, the leggy Farmer Ademond. Uh, four was no 27 for Noreen, Haynes none for 21, Bravo was costly, three was none for 37 and uh, it was Farmer Ademond uh, who was given the man of the match. <laughs> now, uh, so we are almost coming to an end of it. So just looking at some uh, cricket news uh, before I uh, leave the uh, show here. Uh, uh, one thing that I can say is that from Zimbabwe, the news is not good. Sikandar Raza, uh, who according to me, uh, is a much, much improved player now. 
uh, on whom Zimbabwe can really bank on because we have seen that whenever the chips are down, he, had, he has always come up with the goods. And it's very sad to see that uh, because of his breach of contract, um, uh, he won't be a part uh, of the, uh, I think he won't be, uh, he has not been given uh, a full-time Zimbabwe contract, and which is very sad. And Murli Vijay, uh, who was um, unceremoni unceremoniously, um, uh, you know, not considered a part of the Indian team uh, after um, he, he was uh, he was dropped, uh, has decided to play for Essex. He will be uh, joining Essex at the end of the county season, and Essex feel that he would be uh, someone who would be a great asset to the team. And I really wish him good luck, Murli Vijay, um, uh, for uh, what happened to him. And also, uh, the um, West Indian coach, uh, Courtney Walsh, has said that, that this Bangladesh quickies are very talented, but they have, been to be, they have to be given a long rope uh, because it's not a matter of uh, just uh, preparing. Uh, he has really pointed out to the fact that when England came to Bangladesh, Bangladesh uh, doctored the pitches by preparing spin pitches, and he says that's not the way to go. Uh, they have to prepare quicker pitches uh, so that uh, their bowlers and he has been full of praise for the um, uh, Bangladeshi captain Mashrav Mutaza and his bowling and he says he's someone who is 100% uh, 100% contributor for Bangladesh. Well, uh, with this being said, it's about time for me uh, to sign off on this cricket show and with uh, more to come on my next cricket show that's tomorrow, uh, it's a host round signing off. Thank you.